Have you ever been out enjoying a relaxing Sunday drive in beautiful Amish country, Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, and then you start realizing, man, I'm getting really hungry. So then you head to your favorite restaurant, all of a sudden realizing, oh, wait a minute, they're not open on Sundays. So you head to another restaurant that you love, but they're not open either. Well, then you start getting hangry, and then that's the problem. I'm here to help you combat that hangriness and really just completely avoid it with 15 places to eat on a Sunday in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in today. I am Danielle and I'm here to help you plan your Lancaster trips. And specifically today, your trips to Lancaster are on a Sunday. So if you've been there a whole bunch of times or if you're brand new and you're planning your first trip, you may have noticed that a lot of the restaurants are not open on Sundays. Don't dismay, I'm here to set the record straight that there are indeed some good places to eat on a Sunday. 15 of them in this video actually. And for the purposes of this video, we're gonna start with the more popular ones that are open, the bigger restaurants, and then get into more some of the smaller cafes and quick stops that you can also use as an option to eat on a Sunday. So don't go home early. Um, Sunday is a great day to be in Lancaster. There's a lot of Amish buggies out and about, and it's just a treat to see the horses and buggies all over the place. Okay, the first restaurant I'm going to tell you about that's open on Sunday is probably the most popular. It's Miller's Smorgasbord. Miller's is located along Lincoln Highway. It's also called Route 30, and it's about a five minute drive from the intersection of 896 and 30 and you're going to be going east to get to Miller's from that intersection. They are open from 11.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. every Sunday, and just FYI, they're the oldest restaurant in Lancaster. They have a great selection at Miller's. It's really, really delicious, and by the way, it has my favorite mac and cheese out of every restaurant I've ever been to, just FYI. Uh, they have, you know, all local dishes, so it's a great place to go. It's a little on the pricey end, but it's very, very good, and it's very, very convenient. It's one of the only ones that are open till 7 p.m. on a Sunday. Next on the list is Hershey Farm Restaurant. This is also another smorgasbord here in Lancaster County, but their hours on Sunday are 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. So they serve breakfast this day until 10.45, and then they close at 3, so keep that in mind. Hershey Farm is located along Route 896, also called a Hartman Bridge Road, and it's really between Route 30 and Strasburg. They have a lot of food here. They rotate through like 70 different items typically, but they are delicious and they're local as well and it's just a great place to go as an option on a Sunday for a big smorgasbord. Next up is Oregon Dairy Restaurant and their hours are 7 to 2 on Sundays. Breakfast is served from 7 to 11 and then lunch from 12 to 2. Uh, this is a great restaurant. You can also order off the menu here so you don't have to get a buffet if you don't want to. They have a great playground outside for the kids. There's a market next door. It's a really great property with a lot of great things to offer and really delicious food. As you can see here, Oregon Dairy is about a 15 to 20 minute drive southeast from Lidditz, and it's right along 222, which connects directly to 30, so very easy to get to. Okay, the next restaurant I'm going to tell you about that's open on a Sunday is another well-established restaurant in Lancaster, been around for a while, is Yoder's Restaurant and Buffet. It's part of a larger property with the market, and they are open on Sundays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. for their Sunday brunch buffet. Yoder's is located in New Holland, Pennsylvania, and it's literally an eight minute drive from Shea Maple due west, basically, um, to get to Yoder's. So that's just a fun fact that it's super close to Shea Maple, and I honestly never knew that until this past year. <laughs> so it's good to know that because if you're up in that area and you want to eat a buffet, it's a great place to go, especially because Shea Maple is not open on Sundays. Okay, next on the list is Smokehouse Barbecue and Brews. Now it's a barbecue joint. They do still offer some Pennsylvania Dutch foods. Uh, there's this thing called the Smokehouse Sampler where you pick a starter, a meat, some sides, a dessert, um, and a beverage. That's how you're gonna get the Pennsylvania Dutch food that they still offer, like chow chow and turkey and mashed potatoes and mac and cheese. They do have some kind of locally popular desserts like shoe fly pie and cherry pie and turkey hill ice cream. What's nice about the Smokehouse Barbecue and Brews is that it's in a great location, kind of centrally located. It also is one of the other ones that's open till 7 p.m., which is a rare find on a Sunday. And they do take reservations for groups of 20 or more. If you do that, then you can get a very big um, spread of Pennsylvania Dutch style food. They have like this special they will give you as part of the party of 20. It does have a great location. It's right along Route 340, kind of just down the street from Burnham, a few miles east of Burnham. It's a really great, easy access to get to this place. Next up, I'm going to talk about the 1899 Old Mill Restaurant. This is part of the Best Western, located in the town of Intercourse. They're open on Sundays from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. This place is actually just a few miles past the Smokehouse Barbecue and Brews going east, so just a little farther down the road, you'll come into the town of Intercourse, where Kitchen Kettle Village is, which is closed on Sundays, by the way. 
I can't really tell you much about this restaurant. I've never been there and their website wasn't really showing me a menu, so <laughs> can't help you out, but it's an option for you in Lancaster if you're around that area on Sunday. Another interesting option I think is called Huckleberries inside the Fulton Steamboat Inn on the intersection of 896 and Lincoln Highway slash Route 30. It actually was rated really pretty well um, online, but they have several hours going on on Sunday, so pay attention. First, they have breakfast from 7.30 to 11. Uh, they have lunch from 11.30 to 2 at their restaurant, which is called Huckleberries. However, Huck's Tavern is their tavern inside the um, property, and they have like a dinner lunch thing from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Again, this is one of the only places open on Sunday night. You got Miller's, you got Smokehouse Barbecue and Brews, and you got Huck's Tavern inside the Fulton Steamboat Inn as your options for a Sunday evening dinner. Another place that may surprise you is open on Sunday is actually the cafe at the Strasburg Railroad. And that is called Cafe 1832. It's open from 11 to 3 for lunch on Sundays. They have a little cafe there on the property of Strasburg Railroad. So if you're out enjoying a ride, which obviously by the way it means Strasburg Railroad's open, <laughs> a nice option in the area of Strasburg, especially if you're on the railroad and enjoying some rides. So good to know. Okay, so I'm going to tell you about two fancier options, some higher end kind of fancy options if you're in the mood for something like that. First, it's a place called Pear Diem. This is in Lidditz, but it's actually like north of the regular downtown part of Lidditz. It's at the Hotel Rock Lidditz, and it's open on Sundays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I've never been there, so I can't give you my personal recommendation. They do take reservations, and it's probably recommended, but they also accept walk-ins on a first-come, first-served basis. And if you notice here on the map that it's very, very close to Lidditz Family Cupboard, they're not open on Sundays, but this is, so... It's a very different atmosphere, but just a good option to know about when you're in Lidditz if you want a bigger meal. Okay, the next option for fine dining in Lancaster is the Log Cabin. This has actually been around for quite a long time. Their brunch menu is served 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Sundays, and they actually have courses. So you have your first course, you have which looks really delicious, uh, a grilled cinnamon bun, yum. And then they have the entrees, and which ranges from like breakfast food to lunch food so like you know brunch <laughs> then they have uh, some dessert so it is a fancier place and but i think it'd be fun to do for a special occasion the log cabin is located in leola pennsylvania kind of near oregon dairy and west earl the town west earl and the airport so it's kind of in between all that okay so the last part of this is going to be about the cafes and the quick stops that are available on sundays in lancaster so first in this category, I'm going to talk about the Tomato Pie Cafe, which is in, in the town of Lidditz, right down smack in the middle of town. And it's open from 7 to 3 on Sundays, and they serve a variety of really fresh, unique foods here. It's a great little cafe. They actually have the same items all day long, so you can have breakfast or lunch between the hours of 7 and 3. I got to go there last year for my first time, and I really, really loved it. It was so delicious, so it's definitely something I recommend trying when you are in Lancaster. Another little cafe I recommend is Rachel's Cafe and Crepery. They actually have two locations, one in the downtown Lancaster, but the one I'm talking about in this video is in Richmond Square, which is about a eight minute or so drive east of Roots in East Petersburg, Roots Market. Um, they opened this location about three and a half years ago. I had not been there because I just discovered this, but it looks so, so good. And Rachel's been very, very helpful and communicative with me when I've been asking her questions about her place. The actual entire company has been around for 16 years total with their different locations, uh, but this one here has been three and a half years. So obviously this is a, a crepe a little cafe. It looks really good, lots of different kinds of crepes and really, really yummy looking. So I think it's definitely on my must-do and 22 list. All right, now we're going to head back to Strasbourg for a unique way to eat there on a Sunday. It's actually the snack shop at the Village Greens Miniature Golf Course. They have a cute little snack shop set up there. Here they serve up sandwiches and ice cream treats from noon to 9.30 during their peak summer hours and then usually till about 8 p.m. in the spring and fall. Make sure you check the website for specific hours if you're going not in the summertime. And by the way, if you have not been to Village Greens Miniature Golf Course, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Uh, just a side note, it's really, really cool and beautiful and kind of tucked away in all the trees and the little streams. It's a really beautiful miniature golf course. Now we're going to head to another little miniature golf course snack shop, and it's in Mannheim, Pennsylvania, which is just a little bit west of Lidditz. And this is the shack, and it has a lot, lot, lot of sundaes, and actually a lot of sandwiches and snacks and 
burgers and salads. It's quite a big menu for a little snack shop. Their hours are Sundays from 11 to 8. Um, they claim they are known for their roasted chicken, burgers, and fresh cut fries. And they have the Kreider Farms hand dipped ice cream. So that's a plus. It looks like it's kind of surrounded by a lot of natural beauty. It says it's in the historic Coffin Park in Mannheim. Uh, and, and their dining room is air conditioned, by the way. That's a plus two on a hot summer day. Okay, we're to the last place I'm going to talk about that's open on a Sunday in Lancaster, and I'm actually really surprised I do not know about this place. Uh, they've been around since the late 90s, and I literally pass this exit every time I go from my parents' house in New York to Lancaster. But it's called Scoops Ice Cream and Grill. They are off the Mountville exit uh, off of Route 30 on the west side of Lancaster. They're open from 11 to 9 on Sundays. Uh, looks like it's another really fun place to go, and they have a lot of offerings. They have changed hands and ownership over the years, but the current owners owned it the longest. They say on their website, don't let our name fool you because they're more than just ice cream. They have a, a lot of variety here and they're known for their cheesesteaks and their pork barbecue and their Angus burgers. So it looks really, really good. Two more little fun facts about this place. First of all, they have this thing called the Mount Bill Meltdown Food Challenge, which involves a whole bunch of ice cream. If you've done it, let me know in the comments. And then they also have a food truck, so you might see them out and about in Lancaster sometimes. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, there's a variety of places to go on a Sunday in Lancaster. You have your big smorgasbord, you have your small cafes, you have your fancy meal in between. So it's a great a variety of things and really areas depending on where you are. Even the Strasbourg Railroad has their little cafe open. So I'm thankful that there are options because it really is a wonderful day to be in Lancaster. It's one of my favorite days, if not my favorite day to be in Lancaster. The only thing I would say you have to be really aware of are the hours because only a few of them have dinner time uh, options. There's not a lot of places to eat in Lancaster on a Sunday night, that's for sure. Leave me a comment to let me know where you eat on a Sunday or where you suggest to eat on a Sunday. I'd like to hear from you too. Not too long after this video, I plan on making a what there is to do on Sundays in Lancaster because that's also an important list to know. Please hit that subscribe button and like button if you like this video and hit the notification bell so you're notified next time I post a video. Um, I appreciate all you people who join this fun Lancaster loving community and thank you for watching and enjoy your next adventure.